Hi and welcome. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is July 24th. I hope you remember that day. I did a video yesterday about life in the day that's coming tomorrow. So if you didn't uh, set your reminder, set it because tomorrow is the day to make your video. As you can see, I got my camera set up over here or whatever it is back there. Everything's reversed when you're doing videos. And uh, I just want to share some stuff with you guys. Tomorrow I'm going to be shooting my videos with different things here. Um, I was talking to my family about it earlier this morning. Well, a little earlier. Well, not too early in the morning. We were talking about, you know, uh, she's like, well, what's life in the day you know, all about? And I said, basically, uh, YouTube has put this thing out here. Well, a couple of producers or whatever are in this project called Life in a Day. I'm not too familiar with it. I guess I found out, you know, as time went on, I seen these little advertisements on there on the YouTube banner. And, you know, me being a curious, you know, very curious by nature, I said, hey, let me go look into this here, what it's all about. And, um, you know, basically from what I got out of it, it's, you know, putting out a video about, I guess, things that make you happy, make you sad. I talk about every day how you start, you know, I guess how you start your day off. I guess it doesn't really, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's a life in a day. I guess it's about you, you know, about what you're, what you're all about. And um, today, like I said, it's Friday the 24th and 2020. I like to timestamp everything because, you know, these videos may be around for a long time because I'm not going to be taking it down, no doubt. And, um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this video up. And basically what I'm going to do is tomorrow... You know, I'm gonna, I got a pen and pad here, I'm going to uh, kind of like, you know, just write a little notations down there we're going to talk about, how I'm going to start it off. And uh, I don't know if you guys are, or anybody out there, if you're, if, you know, subscribers are going to, if you have a YouTube channel, if you're thinking about doing it, you might want, you might want to. I mean, what do you got to lose, right? Um, except taking a little time out of your day. Um, I don't know. I'm going to start it off basically like, you know, how I get up in the morning, what I do in the morning. The first things I do is turn on my computer and so on and so forth, talk a little bio about myself and, you know, just go on like that. I don't want to keep it too, too long. You know, um, these ain't going to, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be showcased on there, but you don't know, you know, I guess when they go picking them out, I don't know how many people are going to, you know, submit these videos in, but I'm sure it's going to get, you know, quite of uh, a response. Uh, especially for people out there that want to make it big on YouTube. Uh, I'm not saying this is going to be the road to stardom, but one never knows, right? Um, so anyway, you know, I'm gonna just going to get my camera. Like I said, I got my camera. It's charged up now. I got my tripod over there. I'm trying to figure out. I'm no professional videographer, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to shoot this video. I'm going to shoot it from the left side, right side. How am I going to start it off? Where, where am I going to position it? But there are other things I'm going to use in lieu of it. Uh, for one thing, I'm going to use my cell phone, okay? Uh, that's going to be one of my things I'm going to use. I also have my little guy right over here. Uh, this I keep on my desk here. You guys, you might see it. You know, I don't know if you've been noticing that I have been um, doing like a, every time I do my videos now, I do like a multi-channel thing now, channel, like a webcam. You know, I could like do videos, whatever. Um, I'm going to use this little guy. That little, believe it or not, this little thing here. Uh, being, well, the guys who follow me, people who follow me, you know I, I sell on eBay. I do the reseller news, Let's Talk eBay. And I'm also a vlogger. Uh, this little guy here with, with this here, with the Logitech, came just like this here with this. And this is a nice little tripod, too. It's got the little telescopic wheels, that go, you know, uh, legs that go up there like that, so you want to make it smaller. Um, this little thing here, no doubt, uh, no, no problem, I don't mind sharing it with you. I got this at my local thrift store for 10 bucks. Now, this is the, just to let you know, this is the Logitech. C920. They all range in prices. I see them go for sixty dollars, seventy dollars, whatever. And the little stand here is pretty. Ma it's made pretty well. It's got you know. It's a pretty well made stand. All metal housing and stuff like that there. Um, I can't complain. But I like I said again. I use it when I want to do like a split cam, or if I want to just show you something, I want to pause. You know, whatever. I want to just show you something I'm doing on my desk, whether it be a demo video, intro video, sneak peek video. Um, you know, that's why I got this here. I'm going to make my use out of this here. I love doing videos. I, I love videos. I love creating videos. I love doing them. Um, to me, it's like a dream come true. Uh, this is what I always love to do. The camera you see back here, this is a Sony camera I have. Um, it's a digital. It's a Super 8, I believe it is. I got the little cassettes. Um, it's not like digital, digital, where it does have... It does take a micro card in here as well. Um, it's got one of these memory sticks, I should say. So you pop it out here. You just lock this in place. You take, so it takes one of these, you see the little Sony sticks here, memory stick. 
Okay, it's probably upside down. Am I correct? Is it upside down? Maybe not. Oh, uh, there we go. Write that. Okay, it is. I think it's at eight megabyte. Anyway, uh, it lets you. It allows you to take snapshots, and you could, if you have a big enough memory stick in there, you could also uh, videotape on that as well. The uh, then it's got the flip out screen like they normally do, like a lot of them do. Um, this is not no state of the art camera, but for my purpose, all intents and purposes, this thing works great. I love it, and uh, I've been using this thing right along. I bought this camera back in 2000. I want to keep this open like that. I bought this camera back in 2003, I think, with my, with my Sony CyberShot, and uh, it, it takes good pictures as far as I'm concerned. The only thing I might want to eventually get for it is in a, a boom mic, maybe, or maybe get a wireless mic where I could put on here because when I'm distance, it sounds very echoey. Uh, but when you're close up, it sounds really good. The other thing I want to say here is, uh, for those who know me, I am a Sony guy. As you can see here, I have a Sony tripod, remote control tripod. Oh, am I covering up the letters? Where it is? There it is. Whatever. Sony, right? Yeah. Uh, this thing I bought a long time ago for my, my digital camera. And this is great. This thing works great. You know, you got all your push buttons here. And uh, it works in conjunction with that. This one here is a, a fixed... Uh, Tripod, standalone tripod, of course. It doesn't have remote buttons on or anything like that. You just mount the camera on there and you do it there. However, I do have a remote control to help me out at times. So sometimes if you see me doing videos, my past videos, you might see me zooming in and out. It's because I got my little remote control here that, that works in conjunction with that video camera. And this here, it also works with this too. Like I can plug this into my um, digital CyberShot camera as well. So uh, I'm not going to use a CyberShot camera because that's for still cameras, you know, still pictures. Um, however, this, but I will probably use this here in conjunction with my iPhone or these three cameras here. I don't know, but, but you, I don't know if you guys know about this here, but you know the selfie stick? I'll probably be using that as well, the selfie stick here. What's nice about the selfie stick, and I really never really took note of it, you know, again, until you stop playing around and you say, hey, what, what am I think of that type of thing? Uh, with the selfie stick, this tripod has a quick release mount here. So if you want to uh, take out the camera and move it in and out, you know, take it out, put it on whatever. If you got to uh, upload it, to, you know, you're uploading a video, whatever, to your uh, computer, you can just take this out, this will mount onto that camera as well. And I'm going to just put it over here, connect the wire to it, and boom, I'm uploading it on my, uh, you know, computer. But what's nice about this here is with this, with this PC that comes out, um, because this phone, this is an iPhone 5S, it doesn't have a mount you know, I don't think they do. If they're making new ones like that, I don't know how they would do it because the mouth, you know, have to make the phone a little thicker, you know what I'm saying? And today they're coming out thinner. So, of course, they want you to use this type where you can, you know, it's like that there, spring-loaded, whatever, this thing here. So, uh, I was playing around the one day. I said, let me just experiment because, you know, I know you could buy the things that, that, that there, that tripod mount right there has already got the built-in stem in it. So, I could... Um, just remove that and put this on here. But what people, I guess, didn't realize, and maybe if you didn't realize it for the first time, you could take this piece off, okay? Now, some of you may know, you may say, oh, I already knew about that. But for the people who didn't know, such as myself at the time, I didn't think about it, you could take this here, and you could just mount this on your tripod like this here. You could take this piece like that, right? Like that there, all right? I'm not going to make it too tight. And now you could put this on your phone like this, like this here, protects the phone, and then you can mount it on your tripod like that. And now, if you want to do an angle shot, uh, you can have things running simultaneously. You know, like if let's say you're uh, you're doing a shoot over here, the camera's facing this way, and you want to get something coming this way at you. Now you have the now you have that option to do that there with this here. Okay, or of course, if you have another camera, which I'm not going to go out and buy another digital camera, but that's where this guy comes into play, you know. So uh, I'm going to probably use these in conjunction with another. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do the format. Um, you know, I, I know basically, you know, when you're setting it up, um, you know, like I said, some people they do vlogs. I'm like I said, I'm a vlogger. Um, I don't know if it'd be boring to some people, but they usually show you getting up in the morning, having a cup of. I don't know. I mean, that's how I might start it off. I don't know. Because it's, it's, it's called a life in the day, okay? So uh, I guess, you know, be yourself. As I used to tell my kids, be yourself or you'll be by yourself. Well, I ain't going to be by myself making this video. But, um, yeah, I'm going to probably use that in conjunction with the selfie stick maybe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to storyboard it out. Today, like I said, it's Friday, July 24, 2020. So I got, some, I got the rest of the day to think about what I'm going to do. 
uh, think about some ideas I'm going to conjure up in my head as far as like what I want to talk about. I want to be personal, but I don't want to be too, too personal if you get my drift. So, um, you know, I'm just going to work things out like that. And like I said, between these here, you know, using the, the, my, you know, my iPhone 5S phone here and my um, little, uh, what do you call it, the Logitech webcam, uh, and that my camera behind me over there, I think I can make a decent video. I don't know. We're going to see how it comes out. Look, I'm not a professional vid videographer, so I don't know how this is going to look. You guys might check it out and say, oh, God, that's, that was terrible, Rich. You, <laughs> I wouldn't even bother putting it up, you know. Who knows? But this is just, I'm just talking about what I want to do. This ain't, this, I'm, what I'm telling you about now, this is not going to be on, uh, you know, life and day. I'm just sharing with you guys what I want to do. So uh, we're going to see how it works out, you know. But uh, if you get a chance, check it out. And we'll go to the site really quick. And I just want to show you guys. Um, I know you're probably saying, why you're so hepped up on it? You, like, you act like you're going to get picked for it. I'm not going to, probably not. But it's just the idea of just putting it out there. It gives me something to look forward to. And um, what the heck? I think you guys might, uh, might want to check it into it. You know, let me just take this tripod. So let me hold it in my handy. I know I can just, just take it out like this here really quick here. Um, yeah, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to try it out. Um, because I look at it this way, folks. What are, at this point, at this stage of the game, what do you really got to lose? What are you doing tomorrow? Are you doing anything? You know, are you doing anything important where you can't do a video? You know, I mean, that's how I, that's what I look at. I mean, it's not like something I can't. Uh, you know, I don't have the time to do it. I got plenty of time to do it. Put this guy on this side here. Whoa, let me spin it around without breaking things here. Um, yeah, so that's how I'm going to do it basically, like this here. I don't think I have this locked in. This base is locked in. There we go. I was gonna say I must break my break my phone like that. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna you know toy around with it like that. I'm gonna toy around with the idea, see what I'm gonna put up there or not. Um, let's go to the website really quick. Um, I do want to do some reselling news with you guys. Um, I want to share some information with you guys. Um, you know, this, it is Friday, and I did get some Google alerts and stuff like that um, for eBay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to keep the news thing going forward. I'm going to try to keep the news a little on the short side. Um, I don't know. I've been looking at some of my, uh, what do you call it there, uh, some of my stats analytics. Excuse me for a second. And uh, I don't know. I, for some reason, I've not been getting a lot of views on them. And I, I don't know if it's because they're too long. Maybe they're too long in, in uh, time. You know, the time frame is too long with them, 30 minutes, some 40 minutes. I don't know. But... Um, I don't know. I, I think going forward, I really need to cut it back and you know cut the time back in it because I think it's really getting to be too too much for you guys. And uh, I'm trying to grow this channel. I don't want to see it. You know, I don't want to lose subscribers and stuff. So um, I, I've been asking in my other videos a while back, uh, quite some time ago. Um, you know, if there's people, if there's things that people want to see me talk about or maybe change up the format a little, I'm always open for suggestions. Um, I love sharing information with you guys. That's why I do the reselling news on Let's Talk eBay. Um, I also, like I said, when it comes to vlogging, I like to just give you a little insight of what I, what I like to do with the things I like to talk about at times. Um, I do do. I have haven't done it recently, so I'm doing you know, do it yourselves and some how-to videos that was done a while back. Um, and I also, like I said again, I, I like to talk about different things outside of reselling. Uh, reselling, I love I love the reselling feet of the business and stuff like that. But uh, I know, and I love eBay. I've been with eBay for over 20 years now, and but I also my one of my passions is is doing these videos, making movie, you know, making movies, making videos. Uh, yeah, right. Turn to a movie producer one day from doing YouTube. Uh, but anyway, no, seriously, well, can decide. Uh, I do love doing uh, the, you know making videos for my YouTube channel, and I have a couple of the channels too. I have a uh, you know the shop RJ Piscini for great deals channel that deals basically with eBay. Um, if I don't want to bore you guys, I put the stuff on that channel. Sometimes I might do a demo video, sneak peek video, intro videos on those on those channels. And I don't know. And the reason why I don't the reason why I don't put them up uh, on, on this channel here, the main channel, is because I don't want to I don't want to turn people off from you know not checking out my my videos and stuff. So you know, I know you guys may come here. Uh, with those intentions to to learn more about eBay, and I'm going to keep doing it. So I hope you guys don't unsubscribe. You know, I, I really, I really am trying to grow this channel, and it, it's it's growing, but really slow. But you know what? I'm so grateful and so happy about about you know. I couldn't be more happy to have the the uh, subscribers I have on this channel. Uh, it really does make me happy inside to to know that you know people. I guess if they're subscribing, they must like my videos. I hope they like me as well. Um, I'm going to put out good content. 
folks. Like I said once before, um, I don't discuss religion or politics on this channel, and I don't use profanity on this channel. So, uh, you know, for what it's worth to you guys, I just want you to know it's, I consider a clean content channel, uh, a kid safe channel. Uh, you're not going to see me doing any zany antics or, you know, jumping out of planes, cliff diving or whatever, doing stuff like that. I, I don't do those things. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with people that do that. That's part of entertainment. My category on this YouTube channel is entertainment. Um, I know people say, well, if you're more driven to talking more about eBay or stuff like that, maybe you should change it to, you know, uh, you know maybe people, you know, whatever. Because, you know, YouTube has different categories. But uh, I kept it in the entertainment group because that's just the way it is. I started off like that way back when. And I figured, why change, you know, like they were saying, why change horses midstream, so to speak. You know, there's an old saying, something similar to that. So I figured, just leave it alone, you know. It ain't broke. Don't fix it. You know, leave it be. So, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, do the best I can with this channel. I'm hoping to grow it to, you know, where it can grow to a thousand you know, subscribers. I'm really, it's really hard. Um, to you know, get the channel to where you want, or you know, get to that stage, and you know, with, when it comes to YouTube, uh, unfortunately, they the YouTube they um, they emptied up the threshold on it. There, it never was like that until I think last year, the year before, they were talking about that you had to have a thousand subscribers and uh, 400, uh, 4,400, 4,000 hours of watch time, which I ex succeeded at or exceeded that amount already. It's just the uh, growing the YouTube channel itself, the subscribers. Um, for those who don't know, when you hit that thousand mark, then you can monetize. Well, you got to get approved first from the YouTube partner par uh, partnership program, I think they call it. Uh, once you get that, you know, approved, then you can monetize your channel and stuff like that. And uh, believe me, it's not going to be phenomenal amounts of uh, money. It all depends on this, you know uh, the, who this, you know the um, people out there are advertising on there. You know, what I'm saying the stores or wherever. Uh, you know, the advertisers, what who they're going to if they're going to even advertise on your channel or not. You know, they may may not. So, uh, you know, it's not like, YouTube is not a quick get-rich scheme. Uh, a lot of people think, like, you know, I'm going to pop a couple videos on there. But I tell you one thing, I have to honestly say, uh, I have been on YouTube channels where people had just started off within, uh, within one year time. I can't think of this, this lady who cooks Mexican uh, food. <clears throat> and uh, she doesn't have any fancy kitchen. I talked about some other videos. She doesn't have any fancy kitchen. It's not like a, you know, uh, one of those staged, uh, staged uh, kitchens like you see like in like a Martha Stewart type of thing or whatever. Um, it's just basic cooking. I don't know. She cooks like in this, I don't know. It's like a cement stove. What do you want to call it there? And she talks about making Mexican food, whatever. But it's in, it's in her language, of course. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. And her channel grew to like 1.2 million subscribers within a year's time or something along that line. I was like, I was taken aback. I was like, wow, you know, here's a lady just basically cooking her food, uh, Mexican food, and her channel, like, blew up, you know, it took off, you know, and I was like, wow, that, that's phenomenal, you know. So sometimes, and that's the other thing, too, when it comes to creating a YouTube channel, uh, sometimes people try too hard. Um, you hear this from other others, uh, YouTube creators that don't try to emulate successful uh, YouTube channels, like, you know, like PewDiePie. Um, he's got over oh, 105 million or something like that subscribers. His format, if you try to copy a format like that, his format, let's say what he does, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going you're gonna to grow like him. I mean, you know, I think, I, I think out of, dude, I was looking at it this morning, I got some Google alerts on it there. Um, there's two people that over, have over 100, 100 million subscribers. That's PewDiePie and T-Series. Okay. Now, don't forget, now he's, been on, he's been on YouTube for many years. Uh, you know, that's how we, I'm just saying that's part of how he grew, you know, being on it. He's been, it's not like it's just, it just started yesterday. And he's been there for a number of years. And his format, I guess the people, you know, format and the content he's putting out there, uh, I, I don't know if it's the Gen X uh, or, or millennials that he attracts more to that go, that drive towards his uh, YouTube channel. But whatever he did, he's successful at it. And then you get the other guy, uh, Mr. Beast, who is got to what I think he's got what 10 million plus subscribers, and he's doing phenomenal. Uh, kudos to all of them, to all of them. T Series, PewDiePie, and and uh, what do you call it there? Um, uh, Mr. Beast. And there's plenty more out there that are doing that are very successful on YouTube. They're doing really good and phenomenal. So um, you know, you, you got to be in it to win it. And a lot of people may say, well, geez, you know, if I do this here, start a YouTube channel, who's going to even watch it? Look. 
When I started out back in the day, I didn't think anybody's going to watch any of my videos. But tr tr truthfully, I have no I, I have no clue that people are going to watch my videos. And people say, "Well, if you didn't, if you thought like that, why did you stop making them?" I don't know. I figured everybody else is doing it. Let me, let me jump in, you know. So I did, and I started off like I said, I like I told a story about it many times in my other videos. Um, I have to say kudos to eBay because if it wasn't for eBay to get me involved with this, I probably would have never started a YouTube channel. Um, I just, I remember registering, it was, it was in July of 2013, I believe it was. I just registered on, uh, you know, signed up on YouTube, and it was just dormant for a while, and I said, geez, what am I going to do videos on? What I signed up, now what am I going to talk about? And that's the problem people always have when it comes to uh, signing up, you know, starting a YouTube channel. Half the times people know what to talk about, okay? Uh, and then you always hear all the variables, you know. Um, if, if, you're, if you're a vlogger, uh, people might get tired of seeing a vlog. They don't want to see people grow, rolling out of bed, getting a cup of coffee, which I might do tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to see how that works out. Uh, but, you know, things of that nature. Or they're going to talk about, well, I'm going to go to the store today. I'm going to the mall with my girlfriends or whatever. Or I'm going to go, um, I don't know, go to the park. Who knows? I don't know. They talk about anything and everything. And yet there are a couple, uh, I call them YouTube celebrities, that done things like that, vlogging, and became very successful. Okay, uh, by just vlogging about their daily life. So, you know, it all depends. And as I said once before, and I'll say it again, um, it all, it, if you have a hidden talent, which a lot of us do, um, I'm not saying my talent is making videos, but I'm just trying to say I know how to do other things outside of doing, you know, videos and selling on eBay. Um, I, my, my talents may be deal, dealing with, you know, automotive or carpentry or whatever, basic stuff. <coughs> so for somebody like me, to go do a uh, start a video channel like that there, you know, that, I'm sharing my talent with you guys. Then and I'm gonna I'm sharing what you know what I know with you. I don't mind, you know. What I mean, some people say, oh, you know, you give up secrets on how to do this and how to do that, and you share it with the rest of the world. Who cares? That's that's what I'm all about. I don't mind. That's why I did or started the uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, is to help inspire and share. I call it his initiative, you know, to help inspire and share. I don't mind sharing stuff with people. And the, the most important thing. I hope that people get a takeaway from my videos. I'm talking to reseller news and uh, let's talk eBay. Is that you guys get a takeaway when you watch my videos? You can say, okay, I didn't know about that. I'm not saying you're going to say this guy's phenomenal. I got, you know, he's great, this guy. But I mean, I would hope that you know you get a takeaway from it. That when you're watching it, you're saying, geez, I learned something from this guy. You know, he's 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 okay. He's pretty good. He gives good information out there. That's the whole idea behind this here. Because if I'm not, if I can't, if I'm producing videos. Uh, and you guys ain't getting anything out of them, it doesn't pay to do it, <laughs> plain and simple. So, and that's the other thing. People say, well, that's, that's another part of the video, making videos. Are you going to create content that people are going to want to see? You know, it all depends. I've been on YouTube channels, just to give you guys a little, a little heads up, when it comes to that thought, that thought process, like, geez, what am I going to do a video about? Who's going to watch it? I, and this is the gospel truth, you can test it out for yourself. Go to YouTube and do it for yourself. I typed in scenery uh, videos, well, you know, just videos, whatever, you know, scenery sounds, whatever, nature sounds. And no exaggeration, there are people out there that have a YouTube channel <coughs> where they just, they, they, they probably take a camera like this. I'm sorry, look at that one. They take a camera like this, or maybe they use a uh, cell phone. And they're doing one like, uh, in a, in a, let's say it's in a forest, a little babbling brook, right? And they'll set a camera like that up. Okay, on a tripod maybe. I'm just saying, because I mean, I'm not going to sit there for a half hour holding a video. Or you could, if you got steady hands. My hands would shake after a while. And um, <clears throat> you would just have that. You would just have that. Uh, that that camera poised there, and all you hear is the water running, and the water's just you know, going over the rocks and stuff. And they got the camera face there, and I was watching a video, and I got captivated by. It. I said, "Geez," I said, "This is it's so relaxing," and then I'm looking at the I'm looking at all the comments, and I'm saying. Oh, I love this video. I love this. I could watch this all day. And I look at all the comments. People have thousands upon thousands of subscribers. I mean, <laughs> literally thousands of subscribers. And a lot of thumbs up, some thumbs down, of course. But, you know, but people love it. And that's just one. There was another winter scenery. And in winter time, there was one that some guy had it. Uh, I, did, I did a winter scenery thing. I don't know if I was looking up YouTube. And they had like a little cabin over there. And you could see the snow's coming down. No music. And you could hear like the snowflakes, like, you know, like that sound, like it's very still. It was, done, it was done in the daylight. And it had a little, again, it had a little water, a little brook next to the cabin. And it was going off. You guys know what I'm talking about. But they had like a little thing there. And it was just looking. You could see the wind blowing. You could hear the wind, you know, 
blowing around and the snow's moving. You know, you could hear the like the you know the the, the sounds. You just had the sound, the wintery sounds. And again, I'm looking at the subscribers. Thousands, thousands of subscribers just from putting that video up. Now they may have done other videos. I didn't research all that, but that video and it had so many thousands of views and comments. I love this video. I love this here. I, I wish I was there. You know, the sound they could say. It really was very picture. It was really a cozy picture. You know, I mean, you're looking at the little cabin in it. It's like in the forest, whatever. And it's just blowing, the, you know, and the, and the snow's just, you know, going all over it, blowing all over it, and the little brook. And I said, wow, that's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, but those are just some of the ideas I was throwing out there. Like I said, again, if you're a baker, maybe you might want to teach people how to bake. Maybe you're a, you're a carpenter, you want to teach me how to build, you know. But I know there might be, then you might get the question that pops in here, but yeah, but there's thousands of other people doing the same thing. It doesn't matter, folks. It doesn't matter because you know what? If there are a thousand people doing that same thing, particular thing, so you'll be a thousand and one. And let me tell you something, seriously, we're all kidding aside. If all the other YouTube, successful YouTube creators thought like that there, they wouldn't be where they are today if they had that mindset. Take yourself, yeah, don't, don't, don't have that mindset. Do what you love to do, and as they're all saying, do what you love to do and the money will follow. But what's that other saying? Just like in the field of dreams, is it? Build and they will come. They will. Believe it or not, if you create a video, give it a title, nice little uh, thumbnail, whatever, people out of curiosity will watch it. I was watching a video a uh, long time ago where a person, I don't know how I came across it. I guess the thumbnail caught my attention because thumbnails do. They're like, that's like your little uh, neon sign beckoning in the nighttime there, that thumbnail. That's why I say thumbnails are very important in some cases. I, I have to improve on my thumbnails on my, on my YouTube videos. Um, they had this person there just running over things, squashing things. Grapes, apples, watermelons, whatever. And all you see in the video, seriously, all you see in the video was a rear tire rolling over grapes or apples or whatever. That's all the person did was crushing things. That's it. You don't see anybody there. Just a car tire, rear car tire, running over things, squishing things. And again, the person got thousands of views, thousands of subscribers, um, and a lot of comments. I didn't read all the comments on it, but those are the type of things. But, but who ever thought, did that person create that video? Thought they were going to get people to watch it? They did. I did. I watched it for a while and I was like, okay, what's he going to crush next? You know, that's all you see. It was a rear tire rolling over grapes, cherries, whatever it was there, just crushing things with the rear tire of a car. So it just goes to show you, if people are putting videos like that out there, I'm sure you could create videos a lot better with more better content than just seeing something like that. But again, people out of curiosity or they're just curious to see what that video is all about, uh, they will tune into it. Now, how long they're going to watch is another story. Just like my videos. I put out videos. Like I said, I do long videos like uh, you know, that one I did yesterday. And I looked at my analytics. I only got like three views on it. So that's why I said when it comes to uh, doing and I talked about this in the past. I know people may follow. say, so you've been saying that for quite some time. But you know what it is? There's times I just want to share so much information with you guys. I can't wrap it up in a 10, 15-minute sequel. Although I got to try. I got, I got to try to you know, rework that as far as when it comes to doing videos because it is long and I know you guys are busy and you don't really have time to sit there and watch like a soap opera basically you know, for about 45 minutes to an hour. I know my videos are long I, and I do apologize about that, folks, but I want to share this stuff with you. But you know the best way, I guess, to do it? Do it in small sequels. Do it like when you take it like, you know, like it's a 10, 15-minute sequel. Leave it at that. This way the person, okay, eh, it's only a 10-minute video. It's only a 15-minute video. A deal I could deal with. Anything over that. I'm going to turn it off after a while, you know? So, whatever. Anyway, let me bump out of the screen. I want to show you what I'm talking about with the life of the day. And I hope you guys will maybe get involved in there yourself. We'll read a little into it, talk about you know, see what it's all about. And then you guys decide for yourself. So, I'm going to bump out of the screen. I'm going to jump into the, uh, my computer over here, well, which I'm already on. And uh, we're going to take it from there. Okay. As you can see, we are at the YouTube video. And this is the life in a day. Just a little verse, many here just talking about certain things. And as you can see, it says, July 25th, film your day, share your story, right? It goes on to say, on July 25th, film your day, and you may become part of a historic global documentary produced by Ridley Scott, directed by Kevin McDonald, and filmed by you. Get ready to take part. Now, I'm going to set the reminder up here. If you go look where my mouse cursor is, you got one day until filming. I'm going to set the reminder, and we're going to do it live here. Not that I don't, not that I get forgot, because I'm the one who's been talking about it, right? So it's very unlikely I'm going to forget, but it's always good to just keep it up there for you guys, just in case you want to. 
when you do it you're gonna get this one here this is I guess the Google one right yes the Google reminder and um, I'm gonna have to let me see here I'm gonna save it and when you save it it will jump over here and I got it I must have did it twice okay I did it twice then and you'll see it over here a life and when you click it on it will come up like this a life and day Saturday July 25th Richard J. Pacini okay um, that's it it's set okay now let's go back to this again and let's see what the story is there let's take let's see what it says here um, I'm not going to get into this because I, because of copyright infringement things I can't I'm not going to play it I'm just going to show you uh, I'm just going to let you see this here scroll down really quick and um, it'll talk a little about it okay uh, what we captured all in a single day yeah I'm just I'm just bringing some some uh, documents here some parts of it uh, take part and let's see here there's a lot of videos so if you haven't seen it you might want to go there if you go to um, just if you go to YouTube just type in um, the life in the day on YouTube on a Google search and you will be able to uh, see it later on okay all right let's see here um, bear with me for one second I want to make sure I, I let me see something here okay I do have it I thought I didn't I thought I hit the record button <laughs> Oh my gosh, that'd be terrible doing a video again. Yeah, I was like the return. What you see on the lower right hand corner is that little webcam I have there. It just, that's, I don't know why it comes out like that there. It comes out like that there with those little lines in there. All right. Okay, this is what it's talking about. Let's just read this really quick and then I'm going to cl close this video out, guys. It goes on here uh, Life in a Day, Take a Part. Okay, Take a Part is simple. On July 25th, grab your camera or smartphone and film your day. Uh, you might record a typical day going to work, connection with your family, being with friends, or maybe something special is happening. It's your wedding day, or you have important news to share, or you're going to have a baby, or you could show us your lockdown uh, in your city, how would you, uh, how, yeah, and how your world is opening up or something you're fighting for. Um, alternatively, you could choose to film, uh, to film someone you find interesting and spend a day with them, catch her on July 25th. We'd also like to show you show and tell yeah show or tell us the answer to these four questions what do you love what do you fear um, what would you like to change either about the world or your own life uh, what is it what's in your pocket the most important thing is to make it personal share the matters uh, to, to you all right yeah she's what matters to you this is your film submissions are open from July 25th to August 2nd all right so you got a little more time but the way they made it sound like I, I didn't get to those little details like that. Sorry about that. Uh, it goes from July 25th to August 2nd. Okay. After the submission closes, a team researches and as we'll review, your, we'll review the clips received. If your footage is used in the final film, we will contact you later in the year. And this guy is, I think, is this Kevin McDonald, right? He talks a little about it. Again, I'm not going to play it because of the simple reason is, you know, with the copyright thing. Uh, you could check that out. And it says tips for filming, okay? Uh, follow these uh, simple tips. will increase your likelihood and your work will be included in the finished film. Storytelling, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Hold your shots. Uh, length and language. Uh, shoot landscape, okay? Now, um, length and language. Let's say you can submit as much as a little footage as you like and you can record the footage in any language. Okay, that's good to know because I'm thinking I wanted so many uh, minutes of it, like, you know, maybe half hour sequel for, you know, like or maybe half hour, 40 minutes, whatever. I don't know. I want to see that part. I didn't get a chance to read all of that. And then here, it says see, see filming requirements, okay? So uh, let's see here the filming requirements. Um, you will need to comply with the conditions of the work and sit in inclusion to finish, uh, in the finished film. Uh, appearance releases. If you're going to do anything, I guess, with, pit with other people out there, I guess with friends or family, uh, they're going to want you to hit that re uh, right over here. It says a parent's release form. I would, I would think that's what they're going to want you to do. You've got to get the consent from them. Uh, on the other hand, I'm just going to be doing it myself, so I don't think it really pertains to me. Uh, but for those who are going to interview people or are going to have other people in there, you're going to have to print these forms out, I guess, and have them sign it, I believe. Um, <clears throat> yeah, see, so if you're filming anyone under the age 18, uh, under the, yeah, under the age 18, or legal majority of the country, where they're arrested, uh, also get their legal, yeah, get their legal and guardian parent to make the parent have to sign their parent, yeah, their sign the parent's release form. Uh, this is very important. Do not film any children without seeking permission first. Um, if you got to go through that, they forget about. It. For for me, I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna be doing it myself. I, if I did have anybody, but my daughters or my family, I'm not gonna get it. You know, I know what they sell here. Uh, when filming your, such as your family stranger, okay, get them. Okay, uh, I guess that's you know, whatever reason. I'm gonna be doing it myself, so I don't know. Do I have to sign my own? <laughs> anyway, um, it says over here, note if you're filming the crowd, street scene, 
with people on the background, express permission to make it required by the rules of uh, vary from, from country to country. When possible, it is best to be on the safe side and get the release signed with people for them. Well, of course, they don't want you to, you know, you don't, they, these people may not, if you do film strange people like that, they're not familiar with you or not friends or relatives, you know, they might not like the idea of being filmed. Uh, you, and then it says you have a printer. You could download the release form here. No printer. Then what do you have over here? Um, yeah, with the C, you can visit the site. Okay, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm not going to get too, too much in that. Like I always tell you guys, you know where to go. You can check it out for yourself. Uh, location permissions. Uh, it is generally okay to, uh, in many countries, public places, whatever. Um, yeah, again, uh, let's see over here. Uh, we may, we may, wait. Uh, we may later have you asked to get the owner sign the location release. See, th there's a lot of particulars involved with this here. So make sure uh, you know what's going on with this thing <laughs> before you do it. Just just read in here because you don't want to have any problems. Okay, don't film trademarks or protected works. Okay, uh, don't use music. Don't use any music in your video in the background or overload parts of it with the of a soundtrack. Now I like to put music on my my video, so I guess that's going to be out the question there. I'm not going to do that. Um, know the personal information will be collected and shared, and then the data uh, thing here. Be careful and don't break the law. Okay, right. So I guess once you uh, do all that and you have all this information at your hands, you know, uh, in your presence, I should say, uh, then I guess it's okay to, I would believe it's okay to upload it to uh, YouTube because that's that's where it's going to be. So just keep this in mind when it comes to filming, okay? On the other hand, me personally, I'm just going to, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, do my own thing. Now, upload the footage. Again, let's just read a little over here. Life and day upload your footage to submit your footage production company submission. Use the submission form below. Okay. Uh, please submit the highest quality files you can and have filed the filming requirements. You can upload up to 20 clips at a time. Um, if you have any questions or issues, frequently asked questions. Um, oh, I just lost my little thing here. Just went blank here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and it says if you have any question, any questions or issues, please frequently ask questions. If you need additional assistance, please email us, and they give you the thing to email. All right. So uh, here you have it. Um, I set my reminder already. I don't know if you guys are going to get involved with it. Maybe some of you may not do it. Some of you may. If you do, I'm wishing you guys all the best. <laughs> really, I am wishing you all the best. Um, I hope you put out some good content. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to be myself. Um, if people are asking, like, what you're going to do, I'm just going to be myself. That's it. I'm looking over here really quick. Hold on for a second, folks. I just caught this my eye here. Filming requirements. Oh, okay, this is what we just had here. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. All right. It's the same thing. I'm sorry, folks. All right. I'm just, you know what it is? I just, it just, I was looking at that there. Caught me off guard. Okay. Because up here, when you look up here, where it says YouTube Originals has home, take part, uh, film requirements, get who's involved, upload footage. Okay. Upload, yeah, upload footage. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let me back out of here really quick. All right. Let me back out of here. Let me go over here and make this bigger. And that's it. Okay, and let me move this guy down here, my little uh, toolbar. <laughs> that's my, um, that's from my, uh, actually, for the webcam. All right, so listen, guys, um, I'm going to see if I could do a video later. I don't know. I'm going to try to do maybe resell the news or let's talk eBay. I got to go through my Google Alerts again. This was on my mind, so I'm just getting my uh, camera charged up for tomorrow. Uh, I know people say, well, you know, how long can you? I got Well, I got a couple little battery packs that, that go in there. I don't really like to always keep it with the, on this, well, this camera back here. That one. Um, yeah, I, don't, I like to always keep the batteries charged this way. I don't want to always have wires hanging around because I like to move the camera from place to place. I don't want to always have wires there hanging around. So um, that's what I'm getting ready to do. Like I said, charge it up this way, be ready for the morning. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably end up, like I said, I, I don't know. They're saying there's really no length to it. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to put it on this channel or not. I don't know if I just might put it on one of my other channels because I do have other channels as well. Uh, just to submit it like that and see what happens. But I might, if I do put it on another channel, I will have it where, um, you know, people that see that video will be directed to this channel. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to overburden you guys with too many videos. Um, some I know there's one guy I follow. He puts out like I think two or three videos a day, and I don't mind watching them. They're, they're, you know, it's pretty interesting stuff. It's well, he pretty much talks about a lot of different, uh, you know, subjects. But um, you know, I don't mind. You know, I mean, throughout the course of the day, I, I take breaks in between. I'll click on his videos and watch them for a little bit, and you know, then I go elsewhere. I do what I got to do. But for the most part, though, um, yeah, that's that's how I'm going to really work it tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. All right, it's uh. 
wow, I, you know, so I actually, I didn't realize the time already. It's five, it's a little after 5 p.m. over here in New York. I'm in the East Coast of New York here. And we had a lot of downpour for earlier this uh, this morning. And it's like, wow, I can't believe how fast the time went, folks. It's, I was thinking before, it was time for lunch. Now it's time for dinner. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Um, if you do to decide to do this life and day thing, just remember all the information there. You could reread it again for yourself because I, I try to go over this stuff quick. And uh, again, if you guys are going to do that, I wish you all the best. Until next time, my name is Rich Bassini. Today is Friday, July 24th. Have a great day. Good luck. Until next time, bye-bye for now.